The most asked question in the industry is, what is BIM? And it does not matter how many times you answer the question. But question remains the same. And this research is conducted. To explain the answer, at its easiest. For everybody's understanding, and, to help out the industry towards BIM adoption. So, let's begin. BIM is a management system, and, a process. BIM process involves Collaborative production Managing information Production of models, and Information or data usage Let's take a look at, collaborative production. Well, collaborative production, includes Bridging the stakeholders, and Bridging the internal departments Using a platform called, Common Data Environment CDE Stakeholders may include, but not limited to Client Main Contractor Architects Engineers Subcontractors Project Employees Suppliers Manufacturers Fabricators Operators And Government Authorities Internal departments may include, but not limited to Architectural Structural MEP Infrastructure Estimation Quantities QAQC Planning Procurement And Execution Let's take a look at Common Data Environment Common Data Environment, or CDE, is based on the drive over the internet, also called cloud-based drive, or cloud-based platform. We can divide these platforms into general and specialized categories. Some of the general platforms are Dropbox Google Drive OneDrive And some of the specialized platforms are ProjectWise BIM360 Aconex Trimble Connect Procore BIM Plus and Plan BIM A Common Data Environment CDE, is a central storage system where construction project information is stored. It is a single source of information for the project. It is used to collect, manage, collaborate and share project information with the project stakeholders. A CDE is updated throughout the project lifecycle. It can hold information relating to all aspects of the project, including documents, contracts, reports, method statements, bids, models and drawings. A CDE enhances collaboration, increases security and the auditability of data. It also streamlines systems and processes used within and between the company and their supply chain. Construction brings together a wide range of people from different disciplines, and a CDE brings together information from all who work as part of this wider project team. Using a single source of information encourages and ensures collaboration between project members. This guarantees best practice, reduced errors, and avoids duplication. A CDE allows information to be stored in a secure environment. It provides a clear and secure audit trail of all changes and amendments, which saves a lot of time, effort and cost. The next process of BIM is the management of information, where management of information includes exchange information requirements, EIR, organization information requirements, OIR, project information requirements, PIR, asset information requirements, AIR, client-specific requirements, and BIM Execution Plan, BEP. Let's take a look at Exchange Information Requirements, EIR, which deals with technical, managerial, and commercial aspects. In technical details, we do look at the software and hardware platforms, means which software is to be used, which hardware systems to be used, how much detailed, graphical and non-graphical information or data to be produced for construction and client and so on. Where, in managerial part, we do focus on details of management processes to be adopted to streamline with BIM process on a project. 
And in commercial, details of BIM model deliverables, timing of information or data exchange, and definitions of information purposes are considered. Organization Information Requirements OIR, deals with Organizational information requirements describe the information required by an organization for asset management systems and other organizational functions. They are organizational level information requirements rather than asset level or project level information requirements. Project information requirements PIR deals with the purpose of a PIR is for the employer to ask in simple and understandable terms what information is actually required at each stage of the design and construction process. The PIR document should set out to ask for specific information and data relating to an asset or assets owned or operated by the organization. This set of requirements will feed into the employer's information requirements EIR document. Asset Information Requirements AIR deals with the graphical information such as 2D, 3D, also non-graphical data or information, like location, size, fabrication, specification, and documentation needed for the lifetime operation and management of a built asset. These information relates to the operation of an asset. An information requirement is defined as specification for what, when, how, and for whom the information will be produced. Client-Specific Requirements Client-specific requirements deals with client-specified or extra information requested by client to be generated or provided. This information is other than the standard information, such as function-related, department-related, state-related or country-specific information. From information management, next is BIM Execution Plan. As BIM Execution Plan covers Management, Planning and Documentation, standard method and procedures, and IT solutions. Within the BIM execution plan, the management part deals with roles, responsibilities, and authorities, project milestones in line with the project program, deliverable strategy, survey strategy, existing legacy data use, approval of information, and authorization process, Next from the BIM execution plan is the planning and documentation part, which deals with Project Implementation Plan, PIP, including the capability of the supply chain Agreed processes for collaboration and modeling Agreed matrix of responsibilities Task Information Delivery Plan, TIDP setting out responsibility for delivery of each supplier's information Master Information Delivery Plan, MIDP setting out, when project information is to be prepared, by whom, and using what protocols and procedures. Furthermore BIM Execution Plan deals with, standard method and procedures, like Volume Strategy, Origin, and Orientation, File Naming Conversion, Layer Naming Conversion, Construction Tolerances, Drawing Sheet, Templates, Annotations, Dimensions, abbreviations, symbols, and attribute data. Next, BIM execution plan answers about the IT solutions, for example, which hardwares, systems, and specs to be used, which softwares to be used, which software types to be used, which software versions to be used, which file formats to be used, which exchange formats and types to be used, which CDE solution to use, how and who will manage the CDE, how process management systems will work, and how data management systems will perform. Next, in the BIM execution plan, we have process of production of model. Process of production of model deals with project information model, PIM, and asset information model, AIM. Project Information Model, PIM PIM is an information model, and this information model consists set of structured and or unstructured information containing any combination of geometrical information, such as 2D and 3D, alphanumerical information, 
such as data sets within the model and documentation. Information model is developed during the design and construction phase of a project. It is likely to consist of a federated building information model, non-graphical data, and associated documentation. The project information model is developed progressively, first as a design intent model, then into a virtual construction model, also called a coordinated model. Ultimately, once the construction is complete, the project information model is developed into an asset information model to be used during the operational phase. The asset information model. Asset information model, AIM is a model that compiles the data and information necessary to support asset management. It provides all the data and information related to or required for the operation phase of an asset. AIM can provide graphical and non-graphical data and information as well as documents and metadata that can relate to a single asset or to a portfolio of assets. The asset information model might include information describing the original design intent, 3D models, information or links to information about ownership, rights and restrictions, surveys, work that has been carried out, operational performance information, condition information, and so on. Next, in BIM processes we have, process of information usage or data usage. It is a holistic approach to the design, construction, and management of the facilities used in the built environment. At present, the technology tends to be confined to the construction phase, where design and engineering teams use three-dimensional, real-time, dynamic building modeling software to create a building information model. That encompasses geometry, spatial relationships, geographic information, the quantities and properties of building components. If appropriate, operational information is also incorporated into this model, so end users would have all the information they need to operate the building, contained in one central database, without having to maintain separate asset management systems. Over the end, what you get. 90% fast, coordination. 40% waste, reduction. 90% increased, clarity. 61% reduced, documents, errors and omissions. 36% reduced, rework. 90% improved efficiency. 30% reduced construction cost. 30% reduced, construction duration, and 17% reduced, claims and litigations.